Alrighty, so we're locked in the room with a bunch of monsters, and James is a really stupid person. <sighs> I can't believe he falls for that. <laughs> anyway, here is a boss fight of sorts. This is the Lustful Lips, or the Flesh Lips, as I believe they're actually called. But during production, they were called the Lustful Lips. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Uh, whenever they do that, jiggle the uh, jiggle uh, joysticks and buttons all you can. Anyway. Uh, they're called the Lustful Lips or the Flesh Lips, uh, depending on which, what you're reading. Anybody who calls them anything else is stupid, because that's not what they're called. Um, I'm sucking really bad at fighting them, because I can't see jack shit. <laughs> anyway, um, they are fitting in with the theme of sexual imagery in this game. They are meant to be... Um, a depiction of Mary, and the lips are not referring to the lips you'd find in a person's mouth. If I, I'm not going to tell you anything more, you can uh, think about that yourself, about where the mouth's location is at and uh, things of that nature. But anyway, after we kill these two, we should get another one. Oh crap, that one's not dead. Okay, now here's the third one, duh, okay. Get away, get away, get away! So yeah, that's what the monster is. It's a, a twisted version of Mary tied to a bed frame. <laughs> we are in a very small garden, which shows up as being very, very huge on the map, oddly enough. So we're obviously in a weird place. And to further heighten that, come on, now the hospital is different. We are in the alternate hospital. Which is the other dimension that I mentioned um, Pyramid Head bitch slapping us into. So, that's great. Let's go to C2, back to where we were when Lo we found Laura. Perhaps she decided to come back there again. I don't know. Alright, two more doors. Also, alternate world, monsters are more difficult. And I should go across the hall. Monsters are more difficult to kill, I think they do more damage to you. And I think that's pretty much it. No, kick it! Kick it, you idiot! I was somehow facing the wrong way for kicking, apparently. Whatever. I got some bullets. I got some bullets. No, I think the first one was a health drink, wasn't it? And now, you notice everything's kind of weirdly draped over with cloth. And some of those gunnies will have corpses on them. Isn't that fun? Of course it is. Uh, wait a minute. Where am I, where am I going now? I forget. That was C1. I don't want to go. I don't want to go there first. That was C1. Stupid game and its stupid directions. I want to go here first. That's why I wasn't finding what I thought I was going to do. What in the hell? What in the hell is with that music? <laughs> I don't remember that music in this game, huh? It's kind of weird. 
What the fuck? Okay. What was that? There's not even glass here. Uh, okay, sure. What? Why not? Um. Uh. Let's go to the elevator now, and not to this where we're at, because I'm what? Yeah. Uh, well, thankfully the elevator still does work in the alternate hospital somehow, even though it looks fairly different. I'm not sure what the big thing with uh, draped cloth is in the alternate world. It's just a, a theme of the whole thing. I don't know why. I can't see anything at all. Awesome. Awesome. Oh crap. No, no, no. Need to check my map. <laughs> oh god. I really don't like the alternate hospital. And I'm going the wrong way. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Run past the nurse because I don't want to fight her right now. I want to go to M6. Which should be this room. Alright. And some handgun bullets. My first aid kit. Need as many of those as I can get because, dang it, this place is creepy. Alright. Precious me. And this is, of course, since it's a perfectly normal sounding note, it is Jack Davis, the suicidal man. And he lost his reign in the basement, which we just got the key for, and the dry cell battery for some reason. Yeah, apparently someone ripped the wallpaper down and painted hands like reaching and scratching up the wall for some reason. Um, anyway, we need to go to the day room now. Where's the day room? Ah, all the way at the end of the hall. That's awesome. I get to run past these nurses again. One of them are gonna smack me. Yes, there. See, I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I generally kill them all. Because they do that a lot. They're rather quick with the pipe. Well, much quicker than James is. <laughs> but, now we're here. And, there's a refrigerator. Yes, James opened the refrigerator. And James, once again, proves his lack of manliness. Shame, James. What the hell is wrong with you, man? It's just a... It's a, it's a refrigerator. I mean, come on. Oh, well, maybe it's one of those uh, refrigerators like in uh, Indiana Jones that lets you uh, survive an atomic blast. And my controller was vibrating, so I knew I was almost dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. 